The Jets earned their berth here in the Super Bowl by beating Oakland 27 to 23 in the AFL title game on December 29th in New York. On that same day, Baltimore won the NFL championship with a 34 nothing route. Of they led 20 to 16 in the last period. But with less than nine, nine minutes to go, George Atkinson intercepted a Joe Namath pass intended for Don Maynard. Atkinson goes all the way to the Jet Six before Namath himself slams Atkinson out of bounds. On the next play, Pete Banasak scores for Oakland, and the Raiders led 23 to 20. After the kickoff, Namath found George Sauer with one of the 49 passes that Namath threw that afternoon. The next play was a big one. Namath fires the bomb to Maynard, who turned the tables on Atkinson with a 52-yard circus catch down to the open six. From there, with 7.47 left to play, Namath again passed to Maynard. He was the secondary target. It was Joe's third touchdown pass of the day and Maynard's second touchdown catch. It gave the Jets and Eubank a 27-23 and their first AFL championship. The NFL title game was a showcase for that magnificent Baltimore defense. It held Cleveland to 56 yards rushing and Leroy Kelly, the NFL's leading rusher, to only 28 yards. Starting with a scoreless first quarter, the Colts' front four put tremendous pressure on the Brown quarterback, Bill Nelson. But he somehow found Paul Warfield, and Cleveland was on the mark. When the drive stalled, a Cleveland field goal attempt was deflected by Bubba Smith and recovered by Baltimore. Brown's coach, Blanton Collier, said it was the turning point of the game. After Baltimore scored on a Lou Michaels field goal, Earl Morrow passed to Jimmy Orr to start a Colt mark. Five plays later, Tom Matty made it 10 to nothing, going over from the one. It was all downhill for Cleveland after that. Bill Nelson was intercepted by Mike Curtis, who juggled the ball but held it before stepping up. Baltimore made it 17 to nothing three plays later when Matty scored. And in nine of their last 10 games, the Colts have not yielded a touchdown until they were at least 17 points ahead. In the second half, Matty got his third touchdown, and Baltimore won it 34 to nothing. Cleveland's first shutout since 1958. 